Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Zakaria card to check out today. So, if you guys don't know, his rare gold card was really, really good to use in the beginning of the year. It was actually interesting because I know that this card at some points was actually trending because of how good he was for a very large majority of the year as well. He's a very, very solid CDM. Uh, with the improvements that this card has been given, uh, it definitely looks like he could be a very, very saucy dude, right? Because I even do Bundesliga objectives sometimes on some people's accounts and... The guy with medium, medium work rates in that middle position playing CDM just performs really well. So he's six foot three, medium, medium work rates, right footed, three star, three star. So yeah, you know, nothing too crazy, but it is a card that you will mostly use in the CDM position. Potentially center back area with a shadow chemistry saw because on a shadow, you're going to be boosting his acceleration to a 99 while giving him 99 sprint speed, right? So, I mean... Wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing with those dribbling stats, defensive stats, physical stats, right? So we'll see in game. Uh, base card stats for shooting. If you do get yourself into a situation with Zakaria, he could actually potentially hit some bangers for you. Uh, we would have to take a look and see if we get into uh, if we get ourselves into situations where we do shoot. Because again, with CDMs, I don't often shoot with them to be honest. Like with the four one two and two or four two three one. The only way you would shoot is a long shot, but a long shot is a very inconsistent way of shooting, right? You like you would only do that just for the heck of it, right? Like it's just not a really consistent way of scoring, um, especially with a card like this. But even still, the shooting is definitely nice if given the opportunity to. Uh, base card stats for passing pretty good for a CDM. You don't have to look at that too much. Uh, his dribbling we'll be taking a look at in game because with Zakaria he has a high and average body type, which should be interesting to work with in the center back and CDM position. Uh, with his body type like that at 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed with 97 aggression a lot of those things are definitely very nice for the uh, defensive areas on the pitch uh, he's got 80 agility to work with 75 balance which again for a defensive oriented player is not bad because his three main dribbling stats for reactions ball control and dribbling while also having 95 composure uh, is definitely very cool to look at for sure again with the shadow chemistry style we will be boosting his uh, defensive stats to essentially be perfect that while being six foot three and a high and average body type again will be very interesting to look at but not only that but for physical stats he has that body type to work with 95 strength, 97 for aggression, and then 88 for stamina, okay? So like I said, guys, I do mostly see this card being used in the CDM position, of course, but with medium, medium work rates, he could be very nice to use in that center back position. So with Sakaria, guys, we are going to be using him in the CDM and center back position. Probably at the end, we'll be using the center back position position for him. Uh, we're going to be playing him in the CDM area here for a 4 triple 2 mostly. Um, I don't think we'll ever switch to the 4 2 3 1, 4 1 2 and 2. No, when I switch to the 4 1 2 and 2, we're going to probably move him at center back, I think. But the 4 triple 2 is going to be mostly to check him out in that CDM position uh, with the instruction of stay back while attacking cover center. So no cut pass lane defensive behavior on him, just those two instructions. So we'll see how he plays there. We'll see how he plays in the center back area. Hopefully he's a beast. For a CDM, Zakaria's Zikar uh, dribbling is actually quite solid. I like it. Nice, Zakaria. We'll take that interception. Zakaria's rare gold card was nice, man. I liked using it a lot. Even for the objectives, he's sick. So I wouldn't be surprised if this card is nice too, you know? I'll just collect that there as a Karia. Yeah, his transition speed is super fast, guys. I, I I like it. Nice, Akaria. There's a great taco right there. Possession base two. No, we missed that as a Karia. Now don't do it. Good save by Vanersar. I don't fully blame Zakaria for that, by the way. It's not like a tackle I expect for him to get right away. Oh, he made up for it there, though, because that deflection was wild. Yeah, Zakaria defensively is actually nice. I don't mind his medium-medium work rates that much. Like, I do notice the lack of high, but 
like the high, lack of high in the defensive area, but the thing about Zakaria is that like when he was a medium medium before, even just from the rare gold card, he's still defending like a monster. He has the right body type. Uh, in this card, he has the right stats for the pace, defense, and physical. It all just makes sense for how he performs because, again, it is a card that I would mostly use as a CDM, right? So... Lucario actually did well there under pressure. The pass, the first time pass came off great. Good tackle there too. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, get that. Let's go, Zakaria. It's a bad pass by me there, and I still made that. Yeah, I really don't mind his dribbling at CDM. Good tackle again by Zakaria. Good interception, Zakaria again. <laughs> he gets up immediately, too. That was funny. Good Zakaria. Yeah, he has like this like um his rare gold card was kind of like the same too. Like his uh he just magnetizes to the ball like defensively, which is awesome. Oh, lovely interception again. See, like when I'm in that like general area, he just defends so nicely, man. Again. It is a bad pass by his part, but I don't know. Zakaria just feels like a solid CDM. Like, if he was a medium high, like, sheesh, it'd be crazy to have. Oh, I thought that wasn't going to be a foul. I was like, ah, oh, he took out his legs, but I'll take it if it's not. By himself, Zakaria does an interception. I'll look it. Yeah. Zakaria is kind of like, it's like a Patrick Vieira, you know? Like, Vieira, you just feel that strong defensive presence with him. I literally dribble like that with Zakaria so that I can wait for Hazard himself to make that move. Oh, I wish. I wish, EA. I wish you actually rewarded me for someone doing such a bad pass there. Well done, Zakaria. Yeah, guys, I really like his dribbling. I, it's really important to be able to dribble in those areas because for some reasons when you have CDMs, they just don't, they don't dribble well there. I don't know why. Oh, it's mine. Let's go, Zakaria. That's Zakaria. That's his name. Zakaria. That's in a really poor situation there, and he still got it. Let's go, Zakaria. Good interception again. Gotta do the free kick tactic right there. So over there with Zakaria, I was... Using him initially, then I switched off of him because obviously with defensive AI, they'll probably make a better challenge right there than I would. But uh, yeah, man, he's he's solid. I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. He's basically the cheap Patrick Vieira if he had medium high work rates. Like, I'm not even joking. He's so good defensively, man. Very, very good card defensively. Like, Zakaria is one of those guys that, like I said, he needed the upgrade from that rare goal to be a beast in the meta of this gameplay, you know? Yeah, just quick touches, man. Just gotta cover the general area there. Oh, Zakari at center back, huh? Zakari again with a defensive presence. This card could definitely play center back and play it well, to be honest. 
Martinez. He's going forward well here. Let's go, Zakaria. Oh, no, the touch. The FIFA touch. And better start with the save. That drag touch when they get the tackles off is the worst, dude. But my boy Vanersar coming in clutch. I think Vanersar is literally one of the best goalkeepers in the game, hands down. And Zakaria again with the block. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Zakaria card. So, guys, in my opinion, I think that... Uh, this card is a cheap beast to have in the CDM position, 100%. In my opinion, he's basically the cheap Patrick Vieira if, if he had those medium-high work rates. Because, guys, defensively, this card is really good. As you guys know, in the beginning of the year, from the rare gold card, the rare gold card was incredible defensively, right? And this card is no different. But not only that, but... The boost that he's been given in the main areas of the card for pace, defense, and he already has physical, it works out really well. Why is this card so cheap? Because obviously at this point in the game, people are usually using like full meta teams. So people are not really focused on getting a card like Zakaria with links to Borussia Mönchengladbach, uh, Mönchengladbach and the Swiss links as well. Like with the Swiss link, you can definitely work with Mbabu in your club, of course. But if people have Mbabu in their team, I can almost guarantee you that they're going to try to go for full meta as much as possible, right? So it does make sense that he's so cheap. But for those of you that are interested in unlocking a card like this, well, not unlocking, but buying him from the transfer market for this price range, guys, you are going to be looking at a defensive monster that could potentially get some upgrades in the future, depending on how many wins that they get. Because, guys, a card like this in the CDM position and center back position actually defends really well. The only genuine thing that he's missing as a CDM, a person that offers you a strong defensive presence, is going to be the medium high work rates. But even though he doesn't have the medium high work rates, he still defends like an absolute monster and tracks back really well. But it could be better if he had that medium high work rate. T to be honest, that's the only real thing because of his base characteristics that he's missing, right? Because obviously he's a three-star, three-star player, so that's to be expected. Could he potentially get an upgrade in the future? Sure, but maybe if Swiss are like underdogs or something, I don't know. I don't I don't think it'll happen, but we'll see, you know? Um, I think they tied it actually against Wales 1-1 today. I haven't really been watching the Euros, guys, because obviously when the promos come out, I'm really busy with uh, all the video stuff. But uh, yeah, Zakaria, I like a, a lot, guys. He's definitely like a... A really, really good defensive player in this game. Center back, CDM, genuinely doesn't matter. He's going to be really, really good for you. He has like this uh, magnetization against the ball, which is uh, which is great when he's around that general area, when the player makes a pass, when he has to do a tackle. Uh, it's definitely a very cool card to use. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.